Hi, I wanted to give a little plug here for a little program I found a couple of days ago. It's been around for a while, but a lot of people ask or think they have to use like the most expensive software to get a result. And I saw these two programs and realized they're good enough for a beginner. They're good enough for a regular artist that just wants to not have to deal with loading Photoshop or a big program just to do some simple sketching. And this program is called AZ Drawing and it has a little sister program called AZ Painting. Now, this program can be found online. It was uh, on one of size little sites here and here you can dial, uh, download uh, AZ Painter 2.12 uh, on the, 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 the site that translated uh, Paint Tool Cypher English. They have a forum just for this program. Now I couldn't find AZ Drawing on their on their site as easily, so I had to do a little bit of Google Foo, I guess you could say, and I found AZ Drawing on this PC tablet form, which I would actually recommend for tablet PCs because it's really simple and easy to use, and extremely a small uh, an extremely small footprint. So you just have to download it here. Uh, it was on tabletpcfiles.com and there was it right there so you're like okay well I paid 80 bucks for Psy or I might want to get Psy or I might want to bootleg Psy and I'm, if you want to be a responsible artist and are having second thoughts about bootlegging well let's talk about why this program's alright well for one even though that the interface is rather well, it's not the best. I mean, it's still kind of Windows 2000. There's like a lot of customizations you can do for this. One of which is, of course, here's the navigator. And usually I just pull it off to the side in another window just so I can have more space on the screen. There's, uh, here's your brush, brush controls. And basically I created my own. All you have to do is go over here, right click and you'll have an add. And there's your new one and when you double click it you can rename it I'm gonna end up deleting this one for now but so you can see like I have a standard ink pen this standard ink pen I set to 3.5 pixels the press size is 0 so that when I make a stroke it's not uh, very large as I press down but of course it's not going to show up right now because I this and that's about as large as it gets with the max amount of pressure. I changed the smoothing to medium and I put this as a pen compare over and let me show you the reason why. So you zoom in here. Now when I put it in pen compare over mode if I make a stroke, the stroke is kinda a slightly fuzzy firm edge line. It's not it's not an airbrush but it's not quite like this kind of line if you use pen or blend which is a very hard you know very firm line I kinda like my stroke a little bit on the softer side so that's why I have it on pen compare over and I had changed these settings over here and then once I do that I change this to a manual so in case I start changing or messing with the size or other functions it's not gonna mess with my standard pen until I tell it to save. Other cool things that I noticed about this particular program is if you notice my canvas is very dark very easy to set this up. Canvas right here click on it you get your basic windows colors and I had like a near near black canvas so I didn't want it quite black because it makes me uh, notice the inking a little bit better but I don't like it too gray because it washes out too much of the white and it hurts my eyes now over here we have these layers and if you notice this particular image is purple but it wasn't always this way in fact I turn it on it was this color now what you can do on, in this program is you double click on the layer and over here it allows you to save certain colors for for your um, your drawing now you can't technically like unless you're uh, doing like solid forms or software forms you can change the entire layer to one single color 
So if you wanted like a kind of magenta color, you just use the right click or on my tablet I have it, right click uh, on the front switch right there. And if I wanted a blue, I can add this to the palette. Hit OK. Now when you go over here, you'll see in palette, you'll have these different colors. So as I'm changing them, you can see that immediately I'm getting a different color for each one. And that's that's really great because when you want to do a sketch, often times to see how black your inks are, you want to change it to a, a particular color for the sketch, underlying sketch. S so, I mean, this is a great tool for that. Now, there's also other neat tools here. And if you see here, there's an option. There's tools for rulers. And right now it's on off, but if I change it to linear, it'll make a straight line. And you can change the angle, apparently. And now you have, anytime you create a line, it'll be horizontal. So if I wanted to uh, go over here where this sketch was provided by a fellow artist that goes by the name of IPAN, and wanted to go over to this particular area. Sorry about the crazy zooming. I've got to slow it down a little bit. Let's say I want that line to be particularly straight. I can do so on the... And even adding like a bit of pressure can make that line more interesting. And similarly, over here, I got a line. So that's, a, that's an interesting tool right there. Then there's, of course, the radial one where you can also change the position or angle. Or concentric rings. As you can see, there you go. Great for making action lines like Manga Studio does. Uh, and this is freeware, so uh, it's got it's got a heads up on this on uh, compared to other programs. Although Sketchbook Pro has uh, some of that too, but these are for ellipses. But you can see I could have, you know, if I rotate my canvas, I can actually make better action lines concerning Mike over here who's scared of this uh, MLP version of QT. <laughs> and also you can add in custom brushes. There's a Spanish artist. Let's see, I can find his name. Name is Alex Ducal. And you can see that these are all done by AZ Drawing. And I mean, he's got a number of effects that he, he can work with in this program. You got to think about it. This is, you know, great for illustration, just for simple drawing. And there he goes right there. And he created a blog just for this program where he created some custom brushes. And I had to go to Google Translate to figure out how do you actually add custom brushes. Might, I might want to make a few of my own and uh, give them to people. And here's his pencil sets. Or sorry, his brush mixes. And then this is his pencil sets right here, which are very convinc pretty convincing uh, pencil brushes. So as he says, you add each brush, you just put the he, he asks you to download the zip file right here and you put them in their respective directory in AZ drawing. Now he's got these text files I'll show you. As you can see all these text files here. So what you do alright so anyway let's try opening up one of his text files. Double click it to launch it. Side. Now you have to do is copy this C of course. Now go over to the program, AZ Drawing. Now when you right click here, there's an option that says add from clipboard, which is what you want to do. 
Once you add that, now you have a soft pencil. And of course you can double click it to rename it to something else if it's hard to tell. But you can now see concentric rings with the soft pencil tool. And I'm going to turn this ruler off for now. And you can see some rather nice strokes using his pencil. And it's really that simple. I mean, it, the textures you can just drag and drop in the directories. And there is a way to add textures over here. If I can find the etc. Like right here is where the textures are. And I believe this is a angle tool. I'm not sure if it's the angle for the paper or the angle for the brush. I'm still exploring that. That you can see there's a texture that you can add and so I believe this is what he uses for the brush and then what he uses for the texture and the options for that. So you can see that I've uh, kind of started inking here and when I turn this off you can see how it looks and this is the layer where the sketch is. I can increase the opacity Oops, this is not the layer where the sketch is. This is a duplicate, but I can increase the opacity, and you can see it's really purple. But once I take it down, it makes it much easier for me to work on here. Now, there's also tools like a rotate tool, which is kind of essential. I have particularly mapped to my tablet right here. And when I go counterclockwise, it activates this tool so this tool is only a single button you just use your pen or stylus to drag it about and if you need to go back to center just use the forward switch or the right click uh, function on your mouse is what that's mapped to and since really you don't you're not painting in this program I see no reason to map an eyedropper to this one just I just leave the buttons alone and then of course if I want to switch back to brush on my touch ring, when I go clockwise, it now goes back to this arrow, which I believe you can also uh, change the cursor if you don't like it. And of course, if I go back to scroll, I can zoom in again. And I'll use the navigator, which I've moved to another window off over here to start working on it. And just make sure that you name your layers properly. I'm going to name this layer inking layer so that I remember when I'm on the inking layer that's a good time to ink. <laughs> you can also, I believe you can lock layer transparency on here but I'm not exactly sure if it's this button or not. There's layer masks and other interesting goodies. You can see me inking right here. You can see how nice and firm the line is. Where it's got like a almost mix between a soft, like a pencil and a, a hard edge inking brush. It's just right in the middle. And like I said, any particular time that I need to go to rotate or counterclockwise. And then I switch back to brush. And it's just that easy. And inking is not the easiest thing in the world. Some people tell you to make the real fast stroke like so. And on me, I can take my time on a program like this and just make sure that my line is firm and it's describing what I'm inking. So I'm making sure it's tapered and they meet correctly. And of course, if it doesn't work out, I just turn off the sketch layer, look at it, and if it looks funny, I go back and make sure that the line makes more sense. So anyway, it's not the painting tutorial that people were hoping for right away, but I wanted to show people this particular program because, like I said, it's free. Um, it's not going to hurt you to get something like this 
when you just want to ink and you want something that's really low low profile because the uh, the footprint on this is extremely small. As you can see, that's the the size right here. So once I'm done inking this, whoops, I'll uh, upload it, and I'll of course you'll be watching this tutorial and hopefully uh, discovering this program as I have. Unfortunately, from what I understand, the programmer had stopped uh, working on it uh, sometime in 2011, but that still makes it kind of new because, uh, if I recall correctly, Easy Paint Tool Sci hasn't been worked on in at least almost, oh, I would say, four years. So, if you want another program that's free, simple to use, like I said, this one is good. And it's also got some selections. They're kind of weak, but they're not... Um, like they're not extremely hard to use. This is like an edit tool to scale and rotate or crop or flip your your uh, your selection. Of course this is undo and redo. This lets you mirror the canvas which is a quick horizontal flip so if you're just sketching and you think something looks funny there's your flip. The other thing I notice is that this is a dot pen and I think you can actually do since you have so many layers this would actually be uh, kind of good for pixel art and it does have uh, animation options as well so if you're sketching and want to do some you know easy animation here's a tool to do that you can use it for alright and uh, I hope I didn't forget anything but if you do have any questions you can reply on my uh, submission or you can just ask me and I'll, I'll try to answer the best I can. Thank you for watching.